we were transported to a rail station put on trains along with Korean civilians. Mm-hmm. I mean, there were women, children, men, boys, and all aboard this train, but they just piled us in it. Mm. And here we are, fully armed and ready to go. I say armed, we had no ammunition, we had weapons and all. And we went to a town, they called it Taegu, mm-hmm. I believe that's the name of it, Taegu. Mm-hmm. Uh, we arrived there maybe an hour, hour and a half train ride. Mm-hmm. And then we disembarked, trucks picked us up again, and we went out into a, just a orchard of some kind. We got apple trees, fruit trees of some kind. It was an orchard. This is in August. They didn't have any fruit on them, but uh, they pulled us out there, and we set up a bivouac out there. We put up tents and all, and we were ready to stay. And the following morning... Well, I'm sorry. That afternoon, they issued us ammunition. They brought out the uh, 30 caliber M1 rifle ammunition and told everybody not to load your weapons. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was a safety device. But people, soldiers don't always listen, and some man loaded his weapon and stumbled and fell, and a round went off, and it went through the tire of one of the trucks sitting there. And the battalion commander became excited and had all the ammunition taken away from us. The following morning, we got on trucks, and they took us north, I don't know, three or four five miles up there. And we were going to watch a Marine unit attack a hill. And there was NKA on the hill. And we were just going to sit up on this knob and watch this. And we could see them. They came out, and they looked like little animals working their way up in little streams. We could see them moving back and forth. Yeah. And in the meantime, they had an hour or more of uh, preparatory fire on the hill, artillery, uh, air power, air, aircraft came in, they strafed, they rocketed, they bombed. And we thought no one could live on that hill with all that going on. And we saw these Marines get maybe a third, maybe a half way up this hill, and then they came out of bunkers and holes and all and drove the Marines right back off the hill. And we're sitting there, no ammunition. And we could see these people going around us, getting around us. <laughs> so someone finally gave the order, get on the trucks and get out of here. Hmm. So we got on the trucks and we were lying down as best we could in the trucks. And the trucks were flying down the road fast as they could go. And we could hear small arms fire, but we didn't know where it was coming from. 